To suspend belief and opinion for even an instant, the mind has no place to rest. This is the path to freedom. You see, as we go through the day, we accumulate thoughts and ideas about who we are, our self-image is constantly being formed and reformed and dissolving in the mind flow of the moment. It is only when we're able to see that awareness and thought or ego are not synonymous. Um, we go through the day constantly forming opinions pretty much about everything. We judge, we look at, we try to change this or that. One of the hardest things to do in this world is to look at something without trying to change it. Observation without an observer is quite an arduous task. When you create time from a fixed point, confusion arises. We feel that we're at the mercy of outward conditions. And this is reinforced by the simple task of trying to change the inside by the outside, thinking that we could somehow change ourselves with the external world. We consume, we buy this or that, we get the latest gadget, we consume drugs, we consume alcohol, we jump out of airplanes with parachutes, we do everything to try to escape from the moment. But the moment is really all that we have. There really is no past, there really is no future. There really only is just a now. But through desire and ambition, we spend our lives chasing something that could never really fill in that gap or that hole in our life. Only as a temporary means. But no sooner does it seem like it solved the problem that a whole new problem just comes back to us in a different form. What we mean by awareness is just to be conscious of everything without interpretation, merely to observe the movement of the mind. To observe the movement of the breeze and the tree, you cannot do anything about it. It moves either with violence or with grace, with beauty. You, the observer, cannot control it. You cannot shape it, you cannot say, I'll keep it in my mind. It is there. You may remember it, but if you remember it and recollect that breeze in the tree, the next time you look at it, you are not looking at the natural movement of the breeze in the tree, but only remembering the movement of the past. Therefore you are not learning, but you are merely adding to what you already know. So knowledge becomes at a certain level an impediment to a further level. Essentially what we're talking about is seeing things clearly, seeing things as they naturally are, 